Hi, my name is Steve John and I'm the Director of Theater Design and Production here at Interlock and Arts Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to hang a light in the theater. This is an ERS or an ellipsoidal reflector spotlight. This is the workhorse of the modern theater. It's a really simple light. There's a few components that we really care about. The first thing that we care about is going to be this C-clamp. This is what's going to attach it to the batten. We've got two points of focus here or two points of connection here. We've got this bolt right here and then we have this little set screw that can actually change and pivot this actual C-clamp. This whole thing can spin depending on what our focus needs are. I'm going to undo this a little bit so it makes it a little easier for a second. This is called the yoke. This bolt right here is the yoke bolt and then this is the body of the instrument itself. The T-handles on the side will let us actually change the position of the light. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lower this. This is a front light position that I'm going to hang. So I'm going to take the bolt, the C-clamp bolt, and I'm going to tighten this. Then, so that's just finger tight, using my adjustable wrench, I'm going to tighten it. I don't want to torque it too much, and that's actually all it needed. Moving from here, because my hands are off of the instrument, I want to take my safety cable and drop it on as quickly as possible. Now, I'm on a tension grid, which means I can walk anywhere here because it's got a nice bouncy surface and nothing's going to fall through, but this safety cable is just the smart thing to do. Next, I want to actually adjust my T-handle right here and then I can move the light like that, right? So I can do a bounce focus. I know that roughly that's where I want it to hit, so I'm set. I'm going to undo this little guy right here, our pigtail. Looking at this, if this is 13, which it is, I'm going to circuit my instrument. We're right there, so it's in circuit 13. Now, it's basically ready to go, except for one really important piece. When this turns on, this lamp is very, very hot. Light and, and, and the heat has to go somewhere. So I wanna make sure I pull my shutters. My top shutter, my bottom shutter, left and right. Now we're good. Now I can actually go over to the board and turn it on, so then we can move to our focus. So the instrument is hung, it's safetyed, Shutters are open. Those are your two most important things. I did go ahead and I pulled the circuit. I disconnected it because I wanted to show you something that I teach my kids. And if you ever go on tour, it'll be one of those things that makes you very popular with crews. So right here, we have some white gaff. I'm only using white just because I want you to be able to see it really well. But I'm gonna pull the circuit. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And depending on the house, depending on where this instrument is, if this was up in a fly grid or in a fly gallery, like it was up on a batten and it was flying up into the stage house, then we would often go ahead and throw some gaff right across here to seal it. Just so it doesn't go anywhere. Before I do anything, I wanna go and I wanna attach that. Now this is never going to reattach. It's called a courtesy tab. The whole point of it is I've now got these attached it's kind of a safety for the cable so that I know that it's not going to come loose. That gaff is going to hold it. Another thing that I could do is I could pull a piece of gaff like this and I could actually write on top of it. And I could put the circuit number. Just if it's a long chain of um, instruments or circuits that are on a batten, then I can label this one so I know exactly what this one is. But more importantly, when I go to strike, I don't have to fight with the tape. I've got a courtesy tab. It comes right off. Nice and simple and it's clean. Just a helpful hint. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.